from KPRC Channel 2. This is Houston Newsmakers with Cambrell Marshall. Welcome to Houston Newsmakers and our opportunity to introduce you to candidates running for the job of Houston Mayor. You will recognize this morning's guest. Sue Lovell was a Houston City Council member for a number of years in the position two spot at large. And in a campaign offering says that experience is one of the reasons she is the right person to lead this city. Let's talk about some of the specifics about why get back into politics. Welcome to Houston Newsmakers. Thank Good to you. have you Thank here. Thank you for having me. So wh why are you back in this game? You could have you run off into the sunset, but now you're back. You wanted that top job. What made you decide okay. to do this? Before we started, I, I want to say this week my prayers have been with the Houston Police Department and the officer that was shot, mm -hmm. and we're so happy that he's going to be okay. Right. Thank yeah. you for that. Um, I always wanted to run for mayor. I was on council. You know, time means everything, and there just wasn't a good time to run. I decided I wanted to run for council now because uh, I think we need new, for mayor now. I'm sorry, mm -hmm. yeah, can't run for council for, <laughs> mayor. for mayor is because we need, I believe, new leadership in this city, and uh, I've sat back and watched a city that gave me great opportunity and my family, and I see things that are um, not being done that keep this a city of opportunity. What is the biggest thing? Is there one big thing, or uh, obviously there are probably several, but what is it out there that's happening now that just really makes you say, okay, look, I can fix that? So, you know, being the mayor is about leadership. Mm -hmm. that, that's the big thing, leadership. And can you be a leader? Can you be an administrator? And can you take care of of all the things in this city that need to be taken care of. I talk about like if you're on a ship, it's you have to walk that um, deck and you have to w watch that panel all the time 24-7. Very different than being a legislator. And I think that um, that skill set is not there. And that's why I'm running. I know because I served on council and I was in leadership positions. Mayor Vice Pro Tem chaired three big committees, served on uh, you know, Houston Galveston Area Council, Transportation Policy Council. I was part of two mayors, White and Parker, their leadership team. So I know what good leadership looks like, and I have the experience to do so, and I'm, I am stepping up because I think that leadership is not there. What, do, what does uh, someone who you are talking to who's a voter, what do you tell them as a one, uh, one specific thing that you focus on, that you're going to make better, that's not happening right now? Again, it's, it's leadership. Right. A couple of examples. Right. Uh, the issue with the firefighters, that mm -hmm. could have been resolved. It could have, it could have been. You know, a response to a, what I thought was a manufactured budget crisis is not to fire first responders and to not swear into cadet classes. Uh, on, on our city services, the garbage isn't being picked up. We've had to bring in private industry to help right. us. That, 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 that has never happened that I remember in the history of this city. Um, that is not good leadership. And then this mayor ran on all fix the potholes and fix the streets. And I don't, if somebody can point to me where that's been successful, uh, I'd be happy to take back my statement, but I'm pretty sure I won't have to. What do you do to break through the crowd that's out there? There's a lot of people running, and some of them are, are people who, you know, a lot of people may not have heard of. They're running for the first time. Mm -hmm. But you have the incumbent. You have uh, uh, Tony Busby, who's spending millions of his own money. Bill King, who lost by just a percentage point last time. Sitting council member Boykins. What do you do to break through that clutter to, I think the goal, a lot of people tell me strategically, is to make a runoff. At this point because it's I, not uh, I would say yeah. yeah I mean there's just too many people mm -hmm. no one's going it, it, it is the runoff first I think I have an advantage because I'm a woman I'm really the there are other couple women but I'm the only woman with the real experience um, and leadership I believed so I, I think that distinguishes me number two the fact I've served on council for three terms mm -hmm. in big leadership positions and the other is you know, I was very busy on council. We did a lot of big projects. People in the city know me and remember me, and they remember that they like my leadership skills and my style, which is to be a team leader, to use our district council members as a team and move forward, not just uh, on my own make decisions and then go get nine votes, uh, which is what this administration does. So I'm a consensus builder. 
I work across all lines and you you can see my body of work from council that is successful and people remember that and I believe they like that leadership style. You have a little passion about this too because when you got away from council you could have very easily not gone back you could have, but now you're watching the style that's in place right now in council and that seems to me from what I'm hearing from you that bothers you that you're not seeing that kind of style being put into place to move the city forward. You know I, I, I could have run before I'm raising my granddaughter since she was a baby. I didn't want to disrupt that. I wanted her to have that time before she went to school mm -hmm. and for me to have that time with her. She's in kindergarten now. Mm -hmm. So first, the timing is right. But I'm not the kind of person that's gonna stand back, make cheap shots, complain, say I could do this or you should do this type of person that says, I believe I can do this. and. Um, step up and run and uh, let the voters decide. You mentioned about the um, firefighters situation there. Of course, Proposition B was involved with that. I want to talk with you about that more. We've, we're going to do Newsmakers Extra because we knew we weren't going to be able to get all of this in. But it's great to have you come in and start this conversation about why people should vote for you coming up in this city uh, election for the mayor's race, which is the best city in the United States of America. I think we can all it agree is, on that. It is, and that's why I'm running. This <laughs> city gave me such great opportunity. And, you know, if, if you want to learn more about me, you can go to suelevelformayor.com and... Uh, uh, or send us an email. We're happy to, to answer any of your questions. And I've gone on that website. You can find out a lot about Sue Level on that. And we're going to have more on Newsmakers Extra on click2houston.com. You can go to that website right now. In the meantime, thank you, Sue. Thank you.